The third trend is video marketing. Making videos used to be oh so difficult. Today, making good enough videos is easy and easier by the month. It's so simple that if your competition just makes one video in a niche or category market segment where there are no videos, they will completely own the marketplace. Because video is hot. People like to connect on video. They like to see people. Eyeball to eyeball. Understand people. Because you see, when we connect on video, we communicate a lot of information. There's a lot of body language. There's energy. There is personality. There, it helps you figure out if this is a brand or a person that you want to connect with. It helps you evaluate if they have the knowledge, skills, and um, really the experience that you're looking for. And it's going to vary, of course, based on the products and services that you're looking for. But everything else being equal, hands down, if you're leveraging video as a way to connect with a prospect and give some value to them, you're going to be in a much better position than somebody who is not. Now, I want you to consider there is some statistics that we're sharing with you that are from Brand Watch. And I want you to consider these statistics. I mean, they're going to blow your mind. Look at this. More than 1 billion, that's with a B, unique users visit YouTube each month. A billion. Six out of 10 people prefer online video platforms to live TV. Did you hear that? Six out of 10 people prefer online video platforms. We're talking like Netflix, Hulu. We're talking about seeing online video versus live television. Over 6 billion hours of video are watched each month on YouTube. That's almost an hour for every person on Earth, 50% more than last year. In 2015, 18 to 49 year olds spent 4% less time watching TV, while time on YouTube went up 74%. Are you selling to or wanting to connect with 18 to 49 year olds? I'm willing to bet the answer is yes, then what is your YouTube strategy? 300 hours of video are uploaded to YouTube every minute. More than 50% of YouTube views come from, guess what? Mobile devices. Didn't we just finish talking about mobile in our last trend? More than 50% of YouTube videos come from mobile traffic. It's worth repeating. It's crazy. Remember I just said that 1 billion unique users are coming to YouTube every month? and 50% of them are for mobile? On average, there's 1 billion mobile views per day. Now keep in mind, the first stat was unique users. This is mobile views. And only 9% of US small businesses use YouTube. Just 9%. YouTube is localized in 88 countries and across 76 languages. YouTube reaches more US adults age 18 to 49 versus cable networks. Searches on how to do videos on YouTube is growing by 70% year over year. Now to make a video, let's just do a little bit of history here. To make a video back in the day, like we're talking like 2006, right? Like that was ancient times. What did you need? You needed multiple computers, preferably Apple computers because of the ease of video editing. Video editing software, High definition cameras, you probably had a Samsung HD camera or perhaps you had a Kodak ZI8. I know I had one. I've had multiple cameras, multiple video software applications on a Mac, off a Mac. Perhaps you had an Olympus stereo microphone, one that you would talk into, tripods. You probably spend $79, 22 bucks on different types of tri tripods or gorilla pods, video software, perhaps flash conversion software. How about online hosting on Amazon S3, which I still use and is very good. My point is, is you needed all of this stuff back in the day, as well as comprehensive websites to be able to deliver these videos to your users. Now and today, at the end of 2016, you can get a Logitech HD webcam for less than $100. You can use a camera built into your computer. You can even do live video broadcasting with Google, with Facebook, with Periscope. You can, do, can, you can connect with your audience on Instagram. 
You can literally connect with thousands and thousands of people if what you have to say is relevant to your audience and they know about you. And you can also even use YouTube for doing editing and annotating and monetizing your content. Isn't that amazing how life has changed so much in just 10 years? So I have to ask you, what is your strategy moving forward on this? Because I want you to now to consider there's three steps within a funnel. There's the top of the funnel where you need to demonstrate awareness for who you are and what you do. There's the middle of the funnel where you need to add value to the prospect so that they want to purchase from you. And there's the bottom of the funnel where you need to provide additional content to help them make that informed buying decision. So what is your thought process? Because when we start taking a look at a few more interesting statistics, such as, did you know that adding video to your various business profiles is going to increase the number of views that you get? Is going to increase the number of profile clicks that you get? Is going to increase the number of people that take your call to action to want to connect with you? Video drives a lot of behavior. It drives the number of people who visit, the number of people who come into your stores, the number of people who decide to make a purchasing decision for a particular type of product. And as we move down the funnel to the middle of funnel section, this is great for doing video demonstrations. If you can demonstrate what it is you do with a video camera, I highly recommend you do that. People want to understand what is that buying experience. If they're going to buy something, how are they going to use what it is that they are purchasing? If you're going to maybe look at a bottom of funnel type of video usage, case studies work awesome, testimonials from happy customers. Let your customers live vicariously through your past customers and the great experiences that they have had. So to summarize, I want you to seriously take a look at what your video marketing strategy is, how you're going to drive more content and to your core website properties, how you're going to use video to do that, how you're going to use video to build awareness, to add value in your marketplace, and use social media properties as your content distribution points. I want you to think about how you can use video on each of your web pages, on your contact us page, on your home page, on your product pages, on your service pages. Talk about what it is you do. Leverage video as a way to connect with your audience. Provide other vehicles or people who don't per se have all the time to go through that video to read and get similar information through reading. I'm not telling you to avoid right, having text, but I'm saying let's add video to the mix. And I think if you do this, you're going to be able to also increase your sales conversions, your upsells, your cross sells, your promotions are going to work better. You're going to have better testimonials because it will be more authentic. It will be live with video. And I think you're really going to be able to do very well because most people are not going to take the time to really think about how they can differentiate with video. So this summarizes the next big trend for 2017.